Autoclave maintenance is important, and there are a lot of intricate steps involved to ensure your autoclave's longevity. Here at Sterilizer Autoclave Solutions, we understand that better than anyone. So in this video, we'd like to show you how we perform service maintenance on the Statum G4 5000. Specifically, we'll show you how we replace the Statum G4 5000 solenoid valve, and we have Ian here to walk you through it. Inspect our solenoid. This top nut is an 11 16 and I'm going to break that nut free. And just set that off to the side. As you see, our wires go up on our solenoid, and in this metal bracket, there is an opening on the top. This will slide out of the way. You can remove your pump recovery tube if you need, that is a 3 8. There is a specific tool to take this off. However, most people do not have that. So we're going to use some straight jaw locking pliers. When you grab this, as you see, it is thick and then gets skinnier and then thick again. You do not want to grab on this bottom part. You only want to grab on the top. Reason being is this is hollow. If you grab down here, you can damage the stem, and at that point, you have to replace the solenoid valve complete. So I'm going to grab on the top of this. Once it breaks free, on the inside, you have a stem and a plunger. So as we see, that is pretty dirty. I'm going to tip this upside down and we have our spring on the inside. We can try to clean this up without having to replace any parts. We want to inspect, so I'm gonna use some Scotch-Brite and go over this entire stem without dropping it. The big thing we're looking for is damage to this rubber plunger. There is a small groove. If that groove is, is protruding out, then we want to replace this with a plunger repair kit. If this was going back into use, I would be cleaning that up fully. On the inside of here, do you see all the discoloration? I'm gonna take that same Scotch-Brite pad and move that around on the inside. A lot of the stems from the OEM have a spacer in the bottom. I'm gonna use that same flathead, kind of push it in and push it to the side. I'm gonna see if there is a... We are going to remove that spacer and if we were doing a plunger repair kit, we would not be putting that back in. That can cause issues. Want it nice and shiny on the inside. What we are looking for is this plunger to move freely. So I'm going to put the spring back inside the plunger, put the plunger in like that, flip it upside down, and this should move up and down rather freely. If it does not, you could have a bad stem, a bad plunger, a bad spring. At that point, give us a call, we can figure out exactly what you need. Putting this back on, you will see that there is the old O-ring. If you do not have a new O-ring, you wanna try not to damage this O-ring. This one, however, is pretty well dry rot. So we are going to be replacing that O-ring. I'm gonna take the same Scotch-Brite and just maneuver it around on the inside. If this one was going back into service right away, I would be cleaning this a lot better and using a vacuum to actually pull all that debris out. I am going to replace this O-ring. That O-ring will slide right down in. We're gonna, we're gonna take the plunger, holding it like this with the plunger, with the plunger covered by my finger. I'm going to roll it upside down and just kind of drop it into place. You do not want to lose that spring. 
you do not want to lose that plunger. Once again, once that's tight, I'm going to grab my locking pliers, not grabbing below the narrower part, and just torque that on a little bit. It does not need to be over tight. You do want it to be snug though. Taking the clamp, I'm going to put that back over, the wires facing up. With our wires up and the bracket with the opening at the top, we're going to tighten down this nut. If you did use locking pliers, it might have messed up a couple of the threads, but it still will tighten on. Using that 11 sixteenths, I'm going to snug this down. And generally, you just want to have it facing the same direction it was, towards the compressor. This does not need to be torqued on there super tight. If you have any questions about the Statum G4 5000 or anything else, please give us a call at 704-966-1650, option 3 for our free tech support line. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.